Can a budget deck beat the best decks in modern? Is Chandra's Incinerator a good card? And why is my PP small? These are all questions we need to answer. Starting with Chandra's Incinerator. Incinerator is a 6-6 trampler that says, whenever a source you control deals non-common damage to an opponent, copy that damage onto an opponent's creature. But more importantly, Incinerator normally costs 6, but it costs X less to cast, where X is the total amount of non-common damage dealt to our opponent this turn. So in other words, Incinerator can cost as little as 1 mana. Nonetheless, people have written this card off as terrible, because it is a card with a drawback. The drawback being it costs 6, unless it's condition is met. And it is understandable why people think this is a bad card, because most cards with drawbacks are bad cards. Let's look at a classic example, Mur Superion. It only costs 2 mana. Nice. And it's a 5-6. But it can't be cast normally. We can only cast it with mana produced by creatures. Nani? And ultimately, it is a terrible card. Because best case scenario, we cheat it into play on turn 3 or 4. And worst case scenario, it gets stuck in our hand and we can't play it. So is the payoff worth the risk? Absolutely not. And it's cards like this one that makes players associate drawback with unplayable. But that is not always the case. Take, for example, Arc Like Phoenix. When Phoenix was spoiled, people said this card was terrible. Because players were like, oh man, you gotta discard the Phoenix and then cast 3 instants or sorceries in one turn? Impossible! But even though Phoenix runs the risk of getting stuck in hand, the payoff is super worth it. With Faithless Loading, it almost broke modern. And to me, Incinerator feels like Arc Like Phoenix. Yes, there is that drawback, but the payoff is most good. And that brings us to Daddy's new masterpiece, Budget Mono Red Incinerator. The number one goal of this deck is to play Incinerator on turn two. There are two ways to do this. One is Rift Bolt. We suspend it on turn one, and then on turn two, Rift Bolt comes down, dealing through to our opponent, then we finish up with another three, making that six damage dealt to our opponent on one turn, allowing us to play Incinerator for only one mana. It's not bad, but if we don't have the Rift Bolt, Seal of Fire works just as well. Because we can turn one Seal of Fire, popping off two damage on our second turn, a Burn spell makes 5 damage, and once again, Incinerator costs only 1. Because our deck is so dependent on burn spells, we are packing a short volley. It's a lightning bolt where we have to sacrifice a land. Not ideal, but if it gives us Incinerator, then who cares? But my favorite card in the deck is Vexing Devil. It is one of those cards that you look at and you think, why isn't this thing more play? Because for 1 mana, you either get a 4-3, or we deal 4 damage to our opponent. And it sees very little competitive play because it is a drawback card. The drawback being our opponent decides whether or not we get the 4-3, or if they take the 4 damage. If we're casting Vexing Devil late game, our opponent usually lets us keep it, because they probably have removal or a dummy thick blocker. But if it's early game, they will not let us have a 4-3, they are just going to take the 4 damage. And that is very relevant for our build because the 4 damage dealt, dealt, is non-combat damage, which reduces the cost of Incinerator. And if we already have Incinerator out, the 4 damage from Vexing Devil will be copied onto our opponent's creatures. How cool is that? For a similar reason, we have Eidolon, because it deals non-combat damage. And for even more non-combat damage, we have Grim Lava Mancer. Ideally, it works well with fetch lands, but since we are a $50 budget deck, $50 including the sideboard, we'll have to do without the fetches. Luckily, there are plenty of cards going to our graveyard, so Lava Mancer is still worth it. But now on a sideboard, we have life gain hate, artifact hate, creature hate, graveyard hate, red hate, and control hate. But now it's time to see the second action because who knows how good this deck is? Incinerator was literally just released today, so no one knows for sure just how good this card is. Is it good enough to make a $50 budget deck competitive? That's what we must find out. So let's get to that gameplay. Be sure to subscribe if you're ready to clap some cheeks. But without further ado, here's the gameplay, and I hope you enjoy. Opening hand, nothing too crazy, but we'll keep. Opponent plays birds. We pull land, meh. Lava Mancer. Oh, and our opponent plays Molten Rain. So there goes our land, and we pull Seal of Fire. So let's do this. Swing for one. Play the seal and pop the bird. Now it's back to our opponent. And a stone rain. Okay. I guess sharp volleys out of the question. Swing for one. Skewer and back to our opponent. Opponent out, so no more Lava Mancer. Now it back to us. Play the Eidolon. And what will our opponent do about that? Engineered Explosives on two. That's fine. Another Lava Mancer. So we shall swing for two. Play Lava Mancer. And back to our opponent. Opponent cracks the explosives. And then passes. Bleh. That's lethal. Lava Spike. Lava Spike. And we win. So it's on to game two. Going into game two. We're bringing in the Skull Cracks. And with that, let's go to game two. Gee, I don't know, guys. Do you think we should keep? Yeah, I'm gonna say no. We're gonna mull. And yeah, that's not bad. Land hooray. Suspend that rift bolt. Opponent passes. We spank them with the bolt. Then go skewer. Then go incinerator. Wow, opponent shocks. Oh, okay. That feels bad, but mm, mm, fair enough. The one white counter card out there. Opponent kills our land. And now let's go vexing devil. Will they let it hit? No, they take the four. Interesting. Okay, monastery for one. Opponent goes a six back to them. And what? They shock? Why did I do that? Oh, they destroy our land. Bolt monastery. And how very interesting. All right, we'll play the seal pass back. They could have some life gain here, maybe with Thrag Tusk. No, a pillage. Okay. A bird, no cards in hand. We just need to land. Hooray! <laughs> See ya. How wonderful. I just did the math here, and these five cards that they have out are worth $50.54, which means those five cards are worth more than our entire deck. Winning feels good. And what a better way to celebrate than moving on to the next match. Opening hand, that's a lot of lands, so we be mulling. Ooh, this good. We be keeping this. Start with a seal. Oh, and they're a red deck as well. How interesting. But time to die. Seal and incinerator. <laughs> they play monastery. They spend a rift bolt of their own. Oh, and it's time to clap. Bolt, bye. Oh, and skewer. Also, bye. <laughs> 
Oh, this is wonderful. Oh, but they're not happy with Incinerator. They deal three to it. They go to one. They skull crack and they skewer. Okay, we just need a burn spell. Can we do it? Eh, no, but that's good enough because no matter what they play, they lose in there to concede. Going into game two, we don't need the mind Alonzo with that. Let's go to game two. Oh, and how interesting. Rift and Incinerator, but no other burn spell besides the blood. Yeah, it's worth a shot. One plays Goblin Guide. We get a land from that. Ooh, and Vexing Devil. Okay, we'll risk it. Suspend. Ooh, they play Monastery. They shock and Lava Spike. And we have a Seal of Fire on the top. Okay, that pretty good. Three there. Seal. Two more. And Incinerator. They have three cards in hand. If they have two bolts, that will take out Incinerator. Oh, Searing Blaze. And yep, we'll be going to three. That is an uh oh stinky. Oh, take out Monastery. Vexing Devil. They let it stay. Probably because they have a bolt in hand. Yep, so we're going to game three. This hand seems. Uh, that's fine. We'll keep. Start with Monastery. They shock and play a monster of their own. Searing Blood. Nice. Take that. Swing for two. What they gonna do? Searing Blaze. Okay. Fair enough. Land. Meh. Okie dokie. Seal. Seal. And pass back. Gonna play Goblin Guide. Okay. Shart Valley on the top. Oh, he's so close to lethal. They suspend Rift Bolt. He deal 10 damage right now. It means they can't fetch. They Rift Bolt us. They play Fiery Eyelid. They draw. Lava Spike. Come on, Dad. needs that burn spell. Hooray! It's time to die. Skewer. Bolt. And a big old shark for the victory. It was a literal shark, but more importantly, a figurative shark. Boy, isn't it nice to kick things off by beating a $700 deck? I sure think so. Now it's on to the next spanking. Opening hand is certainly dummy thick. We be keeping. Spend Rift Bolt. We just need one more land. And a Radiant Fountain. Oh. It looks like we're up against a Titan deck. But hit for three. And no second land. Okay. Still, we'll suspend a Rift Bolt and pass back. On it copies the Radiant Fountain. That's not very nice of them. Let's try this again. Three damage. And no land. Okay. That's a bit of an oh stinky. We'll swing in for one and pass back. On plays Thick Dryad. Playing a bounce land. The more life game is in store. Well, still no second land. But at this point, it's now or never suspend the Rift Bolt and pass back. On to play Summoner's Pack. Grabbing Titan. I think we're in trouble here. Read our opponent. Oh my gosh. Fine, we're going to game two. Going into game two. We're dumping the Eidolons on with that. Let's go to game two. Opening hand. No, we're in a mole. All right, fine. Start with Monastery. And opponent copies our land. Okay. Vexing Devil. Let's go Bolt Skewer and Spank for three. Opponent plays land and passes. Lava Mancer. Swing for one. Beach shot Bolt. Oh, and they braid the Monastery. Fair enough. Play Vexing Devil. Oh, they let it stay. They do. Okay. Back to our opponent. And here we go with the life gain again. And a Clothy. Gaining two life per turn is pretty brutal. Oh, well. Swing for four. Play Lava Mancer and pass back. They go back to six. Play Amulet. Oh, no. They concede. How wonderful. So we'll be going to game three. Going into game three because we know they have Clothy. We'll bring in some smashes. And with that, let's go to game three. Oh, no seal or rift bolt. But that incinerator looking mighty fine. So we'll keep. Final place Tribe Scout. Oh, and look at that. Play the seal for next turn. Final place Land Taft and passes. And now, boop, boop. And Mega Boop. Oh, they always pause for so long to read it. Isn't it wonderful? And they love how the word tramples is like buried in there. So no one sees it. Good job, wizards. What is these? They transmute. Grabbing a summoner's pack, but they can't play it this turn. We pull land, okay. So let's first do this. Vexing Devil. Oh, they take the four. No. So in that case, Lava Spike. Bye bye, Scout. But they're playing their land. Okay, swing for six. Now, what do we do here? Oof. They probably have to get a life gain, dude. In which case, let's just hold on to them. Unless they go straight for the Titan. But even then, we still want to hold on to these. I guess we're going to find out. Summoner's pack. And they do go straight for the Titan. How cute. We have Valakut and a life gain thingy. Putting them back at eight, but that's lethal because we have Lava Spike. Three to the Titan. Lightning Bolt. And there's the concede. Man, I didn't think we were going to win that one because Burn just does not do so well against Titan. But no big deal. You know, beating a deck that's between $600 and $1,000. So our spanking spree continues. Opening hand, I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. Eh, whatever, we'll keep. One plays Noble. Meh. I suppose we should slow them down a bit. Goodbye, Noble. Oh, in fact, how spectacular. Play Lava Mancer. Very good card against them. And this be a tough one. Should we hold the Shark Valley open or just play Vexing? What are the chances they have lethal? Eh, you know what? Well, let's just rip a big old Shark now and pass back. Oh, a Spell Sky. That's pretty good. Seal of Fire, not bad. So play Seal of Fire and then just pass back. One plays Glistener. And perhaps we should send Spell Sky to Jesus. Target Glistener. Will they redirect? Yep. So then take this. Rift Bolt, cool. It's safest option. Try Vexing Devil. And they let it stay. Okay. And now Spank here. Spank complete. So spend Rift Bolt and pass back. The odds of them taking us out with Nexus is not very high, but they're still swinging for one. But okay. So Rift here. Oh, an Eidolon. That should lock him. Yeah, because there's a lot of spike here and a swing for five. You can only play one more spell. Yep. And now we're going to game two. Going into game two. We're bringing this stuff in with that. Let's go to game two. Opening hand. This is pretty good, but no Rifts are sealed. Huh. Now we got to keep. Want to play land and passes. Lava Spike. All right. Let's try Vexing Devil. Yeah, didn't think that was going to work. Want to play some Noble. And we pull a smash. Well, Bolting Noble doesn't seem like the right play here. They just go directly for their life. Yeah, you know what? We'll compromise. One Lava Spike, one Skewer. Even though that kind of hurts the Incinerator. But then we'll pass back. Want to play as Glistener. Oh, shouldn't have bolted the Noble. Ah. Well, what can you do? Bolt now. They protect. Sure. With two cards in hand. On it draws. This is for two. And yikes, yikes, yikes. We could have had this match over with already. Ah. Okay, back to 
opponent. One plus relic. Swings for two again. And back to us. Oh my gosh. Back to our opponent. We can't smash this relic. Guys are going to sack in response to draw. Feels bad. Will they pull the trigger here? Oof. Yep, that's lethal. Dang. We'll have to settle things in game three. So we would smash the smithereens. We're dumping one of them for a lot of spike. And with that, let's go to game three. Opening hand is acceptable. We'll keep. Start with monastery. When it passes, seal. Okay. So play monastery. And seal. Swing for four. They be at 15. Back to them. Oh, sink moth. Oh, swing for two. They take it like mommy. Play lava mancer. And do we suspend bold? I think that's fine. We'll suspend. If I can survive this turn, we should be fine. Ooh. Swing for one. They could pump like that, but mm, well, we're obviously not going to do the fire on that. Yeah, okay. So just one damage is fine. Now it's back on our turn. Three at them. Land. And unless they have life gain, that should be lethal. Swing like this. Bolt. Anything from them? No, there's the match. Now I don't feel so bad about whiffing on game two because we are 4 0. So let's see if we can get that final win for that elusive 5 0. Here we go. Is this a 5 0 hand? I don't know. But we'll keep. Opponents will lure a stack, so they'll probably burn as well. I'm going to place birds, and so not burn. I suppose we should bolt that hoe. So play monastery. Bolt the bird. And swing for four. Giver. Double giver. And please, magic oz, we need a bolt. Hooray! Oh, I'm getting so nervous here. It's like everything's going so well. Bolt. Skewer. Swing for six. They chump like that. But now incinerator. Hooray! Back to your opponent. What they going to do about that? Oh, it's devoted druid. Maybe tapped out. Oh, man, please. Please just be a bolt. Oh, <laughs> finally, a day where everything goes right here's a big old start for you and there's the concede i'm so nervous right now because like we're never gonna go 5-0 with a deck this cheap it's 50 dollars. okay we must focus so going into game two we're bringing in the string bloods for the eidolons and with that let's go to game two opening hand geez this this is bad so i, I think we got a mole yeah and this is slightly better we'll keep one plus giver lava spike meh monastery try and scare them with monastery could have energetic growth they're thinking about it and they don't block okay the power of bluffing one plus birds and vexing well this be a tough one. Let's try this swing. They don't block. That's unfortunate. Those searing blood on birds doesn't look like it's going to work here. They're so low on lands. They, they missed a land drop, right? Oh man, this feels pretty bad. I think it's going to go here. He ever goes to Jesus and our opponent goes to 14. Can they do something with this bird here? Oh, another bird. And they pass back. What? I'm so confused. If they are stuck on one land, we should probably spank the birds here. So yeah, play seal. Lava spike. Attempt to skewer this hoe. Do they have a protection card? Yeah, dang. Well, that blows. I will still swing for four. Putting them at seven. Should we just go for the seal on their bird? I think we have to. Yeah. Kind of feels bad though. And what? They're just passing back. Now they're just messing with us. I guess we have to swing here. But no blocks. Okay. Try vexing devil. They let it stay. Now it's back to our opponent. What disease. They're searching for a creature. Okay. Grabbing that hoe. Yep. That will slow us down. And they hit their second land, unfortunately. First bolt. Cool. Let's just hard cast that now. They take it like mommy. And then swing. They soak up four, but they're going to go down to one. No, they have a path. All right. So it'll be back to our opponent. They play bobble. Correct. It. And why? Wow, they're swinging for one? I'm so confused. This is like some inception logic. Oh boy. I grab a second one. Ah, oh, an incinerator. No, we just need a burn spell. But ah, uh, how can we hit them if they have this? Oh, guess we just gotta pass back. When it swings for one. And probably the best thing here is just for us to hit a land. They put Luris in their hand and Lava Spike. Well, we'll play it. One little guy down, even though they could get it back with Luris. Yep. This being uh oh stinky. Shark Volley will hold on to it. This again. And a giver. And there's the Vizier. Bolt. You draw. Man, if I had just held on to that Lava Spike. We could have been in a better position here. Luris. I just gotta take it. They get back Bobble. They play Recruiter. And still no land. So apparently we draw land whenever we don't need it. But not when we actually need one. Yep, this is a lost cause. I'll let you know when it's over. And there be the game. So we're going to game three. Darn, should have kept in those Eidolons in game two. But now that we know they have so many Forge Senders. Well, I'm vexing devils for this. And with that, let's go to game three. Oh, oh, open hand so good. Spend Rift Bolt. They start with Giver. Three to them. And pray they don't have Path to Exile. They pause in here. Oh gosh. I feel it. No, no, no Path to Exile. Oh, oh, oh. Still, though, it's a pretty good move. Oh, yes. yes. Okay, we're looking good now. I think we can get him like this. Lightning Bolt. Copy damage to Giver. They protect him response, but before that happens, there's a big old shark. Damage here. Put them at two. Please, Magic Gods, if we win this, this will be the best streak ever. It will be the best performance. It's just it, it, a $50 deck can't do this. A long pause here. I'm so sweaty. They play Druid. Forge Tender. Right, I, I, I mean, I can't even think. We have Lethal, right? It's Trample. If they block, it just spills over. Oh, wait, no, they can sack and prevent. Oh my gosh, I'm not even thinking straight here. Yep, prevention happens. But play Eidolon. They can still get it, though, if they play Court of Calling. That will be above three. That'd be infinite mana. Their walking ballista would be more than three as well. Oh, man. Don't do this to me, please. I just, I just want to know. Draw. That's a good sign. This is the longest pause ever. Do they have it? Oh, wait. It's over. I can't believe it. A 5-0 with a $50 deck. How does this happen? Oh, I'm just I'm just so happy. Oh, my God. I feel like crying. People always tell me how awful my decks are. And they go 5-0 with the biggest dumpster fire of them all. It just makes me so happy. I'm just speechless. I mean, Chandra's Incinerator is just so good.
good. It's so good. I mean, it is luck driven, but if we can go 5-0 without any fetches, without even Blood Moon in the sideboard, with basically nothing, we, we even have Grim Lava Mancers without fetches. I don't know. I don't know. See, look at me. I'm promoting Wizards new products. And what do they do for me? They ban my account because Magic is offensive. Make me change my name to Magic Rainbows. And of course, Daddy's not going to get any preview cards from them ever. And when people go and buy this deck, what does Daddy get? Nothing. There's only one way Daddy gets money. And that is when big boys buy Daddy's hand painted deck boxes. I was finally able to get a good deep black color to work. And I think it looks quite sexy. And I'm even dropping the price. And you can even get one for free because I'm giving away six of these in the next video. All you have to do for a chance to win is to be subscribed and leave a comment down below. And as always, I hope you have a great day.